Hello everyone and welcome back, this is Sleepless Ninja, and today we are going to make our own OTG USB cable. If you're like me, you just have the Zoom 3.1 update and want to use the USB host feature. Hook your camera up, hook your mouse up, hook your keyboard up. It is a truly a great update. However, this type of cable that you need, an OTG cable, does not prevail that much in the marketplace. So you have to go to eBay or Amazon, order it, and uh, wait, but I don't want to. So you really need four things for this. You need a micro USB um, end, you need a female USB end, you need a soldering iron to connect the wires together, and you need some type of sharp knife to kind of get you know, access into your, your cables. So let's kind of go through the steps and I'll go in more detail from here. So I just took a regular old micro USB cable to USB mail, um, the standard one you would use to hook your Zoom up to your computer. Make sure it's not your only one um, because you will no longer be able to use the cord for that once you turn it into host mode. As you can see, I'm just cutting along the edge um, where, where kind of the seam is for on the USB. Every USB is going to be different, but for the most part, take your razor and cut along the edge, and um, you, you'll be able to see a seal, and uh, you'll, you'll be able to cut through that. This is a time-consuming process, um, but, you know, once you've got enough cut in, you're going to then, you know, take a screwdriver or something, a knife, something flat and kind of pry between to uh, get the uh, seam open and basically what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to fold the USB on either end at flaps to expose the wires underneath. So I now have visual of the wires. This is going to be different for every USB. Um, you can see you can see the red and the green here. Um, we also have the ground kind of mounted on the side here. And then we also have a white wire. And then you can see to the left of the white wire, there's a blank. And this blank lead is where we want to actually uh, focus on. So basically, um, I'm now removing some of the plastic sheath around this uh, of the wire so I have access to it and solder it. So the idea behind OTG is it enables your Zoom to host. Now you only need four cables for a normal USB. This fifth pin, when connected to ground, signals the Zoom to go into host mode. So what we're going to do is we are going to solder a wire from the ground, black, to that blank slot. This will make that pin go to ground and then signal to the Zoom that it should be in host mode, thus making this a USB host cable. I didn't do a video of the soldering. If you don't know how to solder, this is not something you want to start on. Basically, I soldered a wire to the black wire, and I soldered a wire to that blank lead that I showed you in a previous picture. Then, I connected both of those wires with a shunt. Um, basically, a shunt just binds two wires together instead of soldering together, and you can remove it and connect it. So I can turn it into OTG mode or out of OTG mode by doing this and have a multi-purpose wire this way. So now you need the female um, USB. I pulled this out of a very old computer. Um, I mean, these are lying around. There's no need to buy one. If you have an old laptop or an old computer or a broken Xbox, PlayStation, anything that has a, this female USB connection, just rip it out. And um, you can see that there are four leads. There's the ground, the power, and the two that the data travel over. Um, and basically, I cut my USB cable, and there are the four wires in that USB cable. And I started soldering those wires up according to the schematic. So... One thing um, to note is how to actually place the wires and where to place them. Red, black, green, and white. 
So if we look at the USB from this angle, starting from the left is the red wire, then followed by the white, then the green, and then the last one on the right is black. Again, from left to right, red, white, green, black. And all you have to do is solder the ends, and you will get your OTG cable. Now it's a little flimsy because of the wiring and the soldering, at least when I did it. So one of the things that I am going to do is put hot glue in, and it just kind of takes a lot of the tension off from it being in free space. It kind of solidifies it and uh, gives it some um, pull so it's not just hanging there makes it a little bit more durable. It's not, you know, I wouldn't be pulling this around or being rough with it, but it's a nice way of protecting your wires and kind of wrapping them into some type of insulation. So I just use a hot glue gun. Works out pretty well. And here we go, our very own OTG cable. Not the prettiest thing, but hey, don't have to wait for one to ship to my house. So here we go, the finished product. Now originally, I was going to have leave this be a mail end, and I had this plugged in to a hub, and nothing was working through the hub. I could, I even plugged this mouse that I'm going to now test with into the hub with the zoom hooked up to it, and it just, it didn't work using the hub. So I had to make this a female end. And um, it has a nice little switch so it can go from host mode by being this switch in and you pull it out and it will come out of host mode if you if you want to I can't think of a reason now that this can't isn't a hub end that you'd want that but of course the most important thing let's see if it works so I'm plugging it in I'm gonna flip this over so you can see the light turn on right when I plug it in just so you can confirm look at that and you can see the mouse. Uh, let me turn off the light, zoom in, so you can kind of get a clear picture of what this is doing. So we now have a nice little honeycomb mouse cursor. Um, if you use the wheel um, right now on the dock, it, it actually can. It's kind of weird. You can you can wheel through your widgets, but when you reach the end of the widget, it actually unfocuses and then it moves through and pans between your different um, docks. So that's it's kind of weird, so you can move from your docks using the wheel and move through your widgets, but if you reach to the end of the beginning of your widget, you're gonna run into uh, moving into another uh, dashboard. And you can see the dragging of the 3.1s here, which is really nice. Click it again. You can scroll through your mail, click on it. So it's it's actually really, really nice. Um, and more in depth on the mouse for a later, this was just to show you, this is working. We now have a homemade OTG cable. A little bit of a work, but it works. I hope this was helpful. Um, please let me know what you think. Like this video if you thought it was useful. And as always, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.